Hi, this is Adele, and I'm here with another creativity interview with a fabulous artist I found. Um, he lives in Seattle, and his name is Nino Uniardi, and I'm going to let him, so I, this is Nino, and I'm going to let him pronounce his name probably more correctly than I did. So, hi Nino, and welcome. Uh, hi, Th thank you Adele for uh, having me here, this is great to finally meet you in person. We found um, on Instagram, I guess. Uh, but yeah, um, I live in Seattle. My name is Nino Uniardi. Uh, that's how I pronounce it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm glad to be here. Thank yeah. you for inviting me. Yeah, and great. I found you because you, I know Nick Wilton, we're friends, and you, okay. he had a competition. Yes. And you won, um, I fell in love with your work even yeah. before I knew yeah. you won first place, but you won first place. So tell us a little bit about that. Were you surprised? I, it, uh, it was it was a delightful sur surprise, honestly, um, uh, because it was a little bit um, almost like a, a blind audition in a way, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you send um, your work without um, explaining who you are. It's just the work. So. I almost didn't apply. <laughs> really? But, uh, yeah. Well, one more day. That's the last day. You put it in. Yeah, you know, so I put it. But it was a, a nice, uh, really, really nice surprise. Um, I couldn't concentrate that day. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so it's it's yeah. Well, and the reason I fell in love with your work for several reasons, and I look at a lot of artwork. Mm -hmm. And um, yours has a special quality mm -hmm. that I'm not sure exactly. It has a depth to it, yeah. and um, and I don't know exactly how you get that depth, but yeah. it just grabbed me because I don't know if it's you work over dark mm -hmm. or light or what have you. That's one of the things. And mm -hmm. then the, the, the joyful thing that you have where you title them around food <laughs> yeah. and that grabbed me right away as well so you want to tell us a little bit about that yeah because you like food <laughs> i actually am not a big food person oh, okay but, but but the way you had it was you know what it was just it was felt whimsical and yeah. light and yeah. fun yeah. and they were fabulous so yeah. it really caught my attention well yeah it was um it's interesting because i, I love eating um <laughs> so and I love food, and, and actually the, the idea behind the food was it's connected to people. Um, I see different ingredients. I imagine them, you know, different ingredients equal different people. And I tried to combine them together, different people, different background. Because, you know, I, I hate when people make fun of other people just because they're different. This happens to me a long time ago when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I live in a neighborhood where I look different than other kids around around the neighborhood. My school is fine, but in the neighborhood. And uh, whenever I go to school or back to school with my sister, the kids around the, around there make fun of me all the time, just out of nothing. Just me look different, us look different. So I think that's when I get back to you know looking for a reason for my paintings. What is it that, that I want to do with my paintings? So I, I dig down with you know different things uh, that I experience and this thing kind of pops up to me right um, about being different and it doesn't feel good to me so the paintings I try to combine the, the humanity of differences of people the differences in ingredients mm -hmm. um, so it's like the sadness into the funness the combining together so that's that's the idea behind this food title you know um, because when I was I was a kid, I always go to paintings because of my feelings. Either I'm sad or happy, I go to paintings. You know, I, when I was, I think, ninth, ninth grade, I started painting, um, learning about, you know, oils and, and watercolor and acrylics. And my parents always um, supported me. You know, oh, you want acrylic? Here, yeah. you know. So um, whenever I have... Um, to deal with my my feelings, I go to paint, and that's the whole reason for it. And nothing else. It's just for me. It's like a therapy, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I I I paint anything from you know uh, scenery to flowers, anything. Just you know, I like Salvador Dali when I was a kid because 
it's so they they can he can create his own world. So I was fascinated by by his work, you know. So my early work is has that tone. It's really subdued in a way, uh, you know, a lot of brown and just sometimes people look at it it's like why why are your painting so sad like <laughs> a long time ago you know um but that's that's how i i, I started and and uh and lately the the melting pot series that's when i started i think about three two years ago maybe i started that that series um that's when i i dig dig deeper why i i paint and so i that's that's why i have to go back to that and just look at look at it and and internalizing it and putting on the canvas so yeah so so far i'm it, it i'm having fun oh, and <laughs> working on I'm, it so yeah i'm yeah. curious do you have like an emotion talking about the emotions of it do you have an emotion first like before you get started with the painting or mm -hmm. do you kind of just start and then an emotion kind of comes and you kind of yeah. ride with that or, yeah. or what when i start <clears throat> if i when i start a, a, a series maybe the emotion emotion comes first I go to the paint. I go to paint because of something, right? Something happened or things that bothers me. I go just start painting. Um, but then after you ha you have a couple of series, then you just your head's kind of um, know. Okay, we'll just work something like that and continue the series, right? So um, that becomes like you have the concept already in your head. So. It, so you don't have to go back to that feeling all the time, you know. Because especially when when you when you go to a series, say, I want I want to create a paintings um, based on, you know, um, cancer or something like that. It's pretty heavy. Um, I had a one of the series based on that, and I can't go through that all the time. I have to kind of break away, even though the the outcome of that is is a happy paintings, like really uh, vibrant colors. But I don't want to go go back through that again and again. It's just a couple of series, you know, and 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 that's it, you know, um, and move on to different things, or you kind of twist it in in different ways, you know. So that's really cool. Yeah, because I I noticed you have de several different series, yeah. and Hope is the one with. Um, I actually was an yes. art therapist and worked with cancer patients. Okay. As, with using using art as therapy, okay, and great, it great. really was <clears throat> fabulous. I mm -hmm. loved it, and it wasn't sad. It was it added so much to their life. It was uh -huh. a sense of expression. So I can kind of understand how it might seem dark at first, yeah. and then there's some light that comes from okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's great. Yeah. Um, the I, I don't I don't have cancer, and then maybe that's that's part of the thing that's different than a person who has cancer, you know. I painting, <clears throat> it's almost like my work is um, part of the, uh, uh, my prayer to, to them, you know. So maybe that's the heaviness that comes in, you know. I, I, because I, I'm not, I, I don't know what that means. I can only imagine yeah. and it felt heavy, yeah. you know. So that's, that's great, you know, yeah. from a different perspective, so. Yeah. Now we have three of your paintings here yeah. um, that you brought, and um, are are these from the same series? Are they from a different series? Because they all look so joyful, mm -hmm. and you know, and I love the way you kind of there's a sim. I see a sim uh, an elegant yeah. simplicity to them. Yeah, that's okay. the best way I can describe it. Because there's a lot going on, mm -hmm. and yet there you pull it together with this simplicity of like going over some of the colors. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to talk about yeah. each one or. Well, this one, I, I would imagine this is that's the newer one. That these two are new. Uh, okay. I would I would think this is going to be a new series. Okay. You're the first one to know. <laughs> Yay! Is there a name for the new series? I don't know yet, but okay. I'm scratching. I think maybe I'm gonna call it leftovers. I don't know. Okay, it's based you on food. You heard it first. You heard it first. I know they heard it first too. <laughs> it's leftovers based on food as well, because this is a uh, part of part of the, uh, uh, the the melting pot series. This one is part of it. Okay. And the continuation of that, I always want to find a way to simplify even more. And these two, are simpli just strain myself, like you know, hold myself. Not to put a lot of stuff in there, 
and, and it's it's harder than it. <laughs> you know it's yeah. easier just to keep adding adding um which which what i've done is adding and then and then covering it up too right uh this one's a little bit different where i I kind of have to this plan, small one or this, this big both one? of them oh, okay yeah plan ahead a little bit a little bit like i think i want to you know more of um geometric kind of um you know shape in there instead of uh organic or maybe both in this series <clears throat> the uh, uh the melting part series is more like let's activate the the uh the canvas go for it Mm -hmm. play 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 and then we will see where, where it goes you know which is great too I like I like doing both so um, yeah I think it's just a continuation of okay I know it seems almost like this oh I know all these tricks you know I do all this yeah. stuff and cover it up next step is more thoughtful or more uh, deliberate of what is it that move I, I want I want to do right so yeah. um, giving it more white space it's almost like uh, the word leftovers comes to mind more like it's the leftover of the plate it's clean but it's also messy you know so it's still food <laughs> but you know the whole concept just thinking of that when you yeah. talk about that i immediately have an image of an image to go by yeah yeah it, and it, it takes it you know just like we went out to breakfast this morning uh -huh. and it's i'm gonna look at my plate yeah. at the end of finishing <laughs> in a whole different way now yeah yeah there's a i think there's a, a movie where uh, somebody take pictures of all the leftovers. They just take pictures of only yeah. the leftovers. Uh, so that's anyways, so cool. Yeah, that's so cool. And plate. yeah, and I have to agree with you. I haven't done a minimal series mm -hmm. yet. Um, it is much harder. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's much easier for me to put things on and then and edit and subtract. Yeah. You know, yeah. than to do ones like this. That's why I res I respect so yeah. much and honor. You. you know how you've done it. And I do notice that you put black mm -hmm. in almost, not this one, right? But this one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you put black in almost <laughs> everyone I noticed that. Yeah, is yeah. that something you do consciously or is it yeah. unconscious? I think it's just the um, <clears throat> the way to add contrast to the whole thing. So like, almost like ground the whole thing down. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I did notice that yesterday when I look at all the series. Oh. The new one. Uh -huh. I'll have this black thing on them. Do I want that? So it's still, you know, uh, I'm trying. Still in process. Maybe it's not black, black. It's it's a different color of, but it's dark, you know. But it's again, a dark value. Dark value of whatever the color palette in in the canvas. So, um, work in progress. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so, okay, let's yeah. see. I. Um, Oh, and you, the medium. I just have a couple of questions, and we've gone through a couple of them. Yeah. Um, what medium do you use? I use uh, mostly acrylic, and um, and then I use um, <clears throat> a dry pastels. Um, yeah. Oh, like the, the soft pastel? The soft pastels, Not the yeah. oil, but the no, soft. No, the soft pastels. That uh -huh. way uh -huh. I can smudge it and smooth. Um, uh -huh. I think that's part of, makes it have some depth to it. You have this kind of smudge where almost like a shadow right mm -hmm. uh, and then contrast that with this sharp line or you know yeah. the contrasting that's kind of makes things interesting so yeah, yeah. um but um other than that yeah it's it's mostly acrylic <clears throat> and I, I i use either wood for the small one and then canvas for the big one yeah <clears throat> now and looking i love also and i don't know if this is a recent series or an older one but you have a series of paper where you use recycled things yeah. and i love that i yeah. looked through all the ones that you had uh -huh. and i thought they were just fantastic yeah yeah that's another <clears throat> part of the experiment i think like you know as an artist you try the different things you know so this one of them just trying to figure out what to do with all this trash <laughs> yes <laughs> well i'll read i have receipt uh i i save uh, travel receipts in the back so you know the studio is getting full with all of that stuff so <laughs> but uh and, and i've been wanting to do some you know working on uh watercolor paper so that's <clears throat> the reason like watercolor paper and again still uh the idea of playing playing with the media right with the medium um so just cutting it up paint and scrape it uh -huh. so it's it's all all about i think 
playing on that one. Yeah. And are they small? Study. I notice, I don't know what size they are. They're not 12, large. But yeah, it's 12 by 12. 12 yeah. by 12. Yeah. And how do you mount those? Um, do you frame those? I don't frame it. I, I have this um, either eight by eight blocks behind it and you just put tape on it. So when you put it on, on the wall, it pops up, right? So it looks like a sculpt sculpture a little bit. I yeah. love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so you just but you just have to be careful with, you know, because it's paper, it's exposed. So yeah. I mean that's one way to uh to mount it. You can put it also in the in the sh shadow box. That would be nice. So yeah. Yeah. But um yeah, that's a, that's a good good exercise. That's on, on my list to do because I have, um, you know, all these things that we put in the um, recycle bins and I'm dying to just take, uh, you know, some time to just kind of put everything out and what can I do with these, like tear some and put them all together. Yeah. So, yeah, <clears throat> that's fun. So that's, yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, we talked about your series. Now you have the melting pot we talked about mm -hmm. and the hope. Mm -hmm. and um, the paper ones. Now, yeah. what about flow? You have a series called Flow. Yeah, the flow The flow is more of, about uh, me and my family who uh, we used to go to the beach a lot. Uh, so that's that's how I connect myself with uh, with my dad and my, my mom and my sister. Yeah, we. Um, I used to ha have uh, mild asthma. Uh, when I was a kid, and and one of one of the cure was to go to the beach and you know get just fresh air and we'll, so that's just one of the you know ways to uh, reconnect you know back back home because all of my family is still back home in 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 Jakarta in Jakarta yeah I'm I'm originally from Jakarta uh -huh. uh, my sister and my parents are still there my sister's also um, uh, a, a, well. A fashion designer. <laughs> so creativity runs she's in your family. Some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's, so she's doing some uh, uh, clothing design at the same time baking. So she likes to bake. And, uh, so yeah, food runs in your family too. <laughs> <laughs> Food and art. Uh, what else? You I, know? <laughs> I think that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but that, that that series, is, it's pretty, I don't know, it's pretty short. I think it's not, not a lot of series in there. I think that's one of the fun things about Art, I guess you know you experiment with one series and another series you know just different almost like a I don't know I'm looking at it as like creating a, a music album you know you create this album this and then the next one and then the next one but you just have to create something new yeah. uh, and hopefully they're connected but don't don't have to right, right? Yeah. I love that idea some, some artists from country music go to pop or vice versa or you know um, but and yeah. when you have a career, I mean, I've had a career for like 30, 40 years. Yeah. And, you know, people like, I mean, there are different stages that you go through. Yeah. And it's like, I'm, I'm not doing that stage anymore. <laughs> I'm on to something totally different. Uh -huh. So, yeah, yeah it's yeah. wonderful to see the progression of how yeah. we work as artists over the years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm still, I don't know, elementary, I guess, <laughs> as far as like, Fine art goes. Yeah. I'm learning about uh, just looking at art in general, understanding them. Uh, when you go to the museum, I still sometimes scratch my head. Oh, why are you doing that? What is what does that mean? And or maybe you know. And I re sometimes I realize, well, maybe you don't have to ask those questions. It just it's just like jazz music. You listen. You don't ask questions. You just enjoy it and how, how it feels to you. That's it. And that's enough. You know. I mean, in the past, I I tried to understand if like try, the reason for everything. I mean, sometimes, I guess it's good to have reasons. Yeah, yeah. and just to enjoy it, yeah. like the color combinations, you know, or yeah. whatever. I yeah. love that idea. Yeah. So, but. to just enjoy it, yeah. don't look for something more. You know, to just like it's so pl it's just pleasurable. Yeah. It you know. Yeah. Exactly. Makes so. you feel happy. Well, that's, that's Yours enough. make me that's feel enough. really happy. I have to say, that's good. I love them. I'm really enjoying them. Thank you. Now um, let's see. We went yeah. through those. Okay, talk. Oh, two more things. Your yeah. process. Do you have a certain process? Like you start each one. Mm -hmm. I know that you said with this this new series that yeah. you're going. You have to think about it more yeah. before you start it. Do mm -hmm. you draw mm -hmm. or on a sketchbook and think about the composition or do yeah. you? How does that work? I have I have a sketchbook, um, but I think I never thought about it as part of the uh, um, linear process. Uh -huh. It's just things that I do and becomes kind of like part of your 
you know back of your mind uh, when I realized like the drawing behind like all of these I just realized I, I I sketched those in my sketchbook but when I did it I wasn't thinking oh I sketched that before no I didn't know it's just part of the thing that you do becomes you know becomes the process anyway yeah, yeah. so um, but but the but the process of um, activating the canvas like the melting pot series I still like those I think it makes me less stress you mm -hmm. know because you just it's you just want to go to the studio to play you don't have pressure about oh it has to look like a certain way because that's what's stressing me out before you have you have to create something now it's less about that it's more about just make something and see what happens um, I think that's the biggest thing I learned from Nick. Mm -hmm. You know, he teaches us about being being present in the studio without giving you a lot of pressure. You know, because it's a, it's a long game. You just keep yeah. keep doing it, keep doing it without getting burned out. Um, that's the biggest thing I got from him. I think, yeah. That's, so, a, that's a great, great thing to know. And even for people who are beginners, I have a lot of people in my you know, art with the Dale membership. And the, and it's just like, it just, I said, you're going to do hundreds of paintings. Yeah. Hundreds. Yeah. Don't get too caught up in the one. Enjoy the process, yeah. you know, play. And that's one of the things that um, I love that you said is that you go and you just play and you don't have stress around it. You yeah. know, you just see what happens. Yeah. You know, see what shows up and yeah. see what the next thing is that it's going to tell you to do. Exactly. Yeah. Even even if, if there's a deadline, you know, you kind of think, okay, there's the deadline, it's December, you just have to, well, you have to start playing early then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Make sure exactly. you know at the end, like, you don't know what happened, you know, what's going to happen with the piece because you have to give it a lot more runway so you can develop it and kind of finish it. Because, you know, at, you know, the process of this, you play about a couple of times, but then you have to start thinking about tidying it up you know composition you know the value the uh, the contrast just sometimes if you do that too early you you get stressed out you know so but totally so, agree yeah. I keep telling you know my students I said just play don't think don't think don't think don't think yeah. until the end yeah then you can put a little thinking in and yeah. even then don't think too much because your intuition it'll shut down you know your whole creative process yeah yeah, that's great. Well, I have one more question, which is, which I ask everyone yeah. who in the interview, and that is, how do you define, how would you define creativity? Mm, okay. I think cre it, de um, it depends on the, the context. Well, to me, creativity is, um, is, is a, is an, an interest that's so high that you want to fig that you want to you, you want to figure it out. To me, that's the creativity. So everybody to me is creative. Not just artists, engineers. Everybody is creative. Even a even a villain, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they have because they have interest to do something, you know. Yeah. It, so I think creative is. Uh, um, an outcome of passion or interest because you're so interested in doing something you become creative mm -hmm. you know it's a big C versus a small C to me small C is uh, like artists you, you you some people say you're creative means you can draw that's different to me that's you just you can draw and if somebody said I'm not creative I think in the context of artists, I think to me they're they're just saying I can't draw. Oh, your kids are creative. Well, maybe, but the reason they're creative because they maybe they draw a lot. They you know you can be creative to me if you have interest in in being creative. You can figure it out, right? If, yeah. If you put that in the context of drawing, yes, you can be good at drawing, but you just have to practice to make it. Good to have that title of you are creative. Yeah. So I don't think I'm creative. I, I think I 
People tell me, oh, it looks so easy. Oh, yeah, because I've been doing it for a while. <laughs> Look at my portfolio a long time ago. You don't want to call me creative. <laughs> it's It start with the seeds of interest. So when I, when I draw in the beginning a long time ago, it made me happy, right? I'm sad and then I draw. That make me happy. So my interest is, how do I make myself happy again? So I draw again. <laughs> uh, and that... Bec- I, you know, then slowly I got that title of you are creative. Well, because I've been doing it. So I think, you know, yeah, I think that's, to me, that's creativity. I think it's like, it's this, it, because, because you, you have interest in something and you become creative. You figure it out, right? Figure it out. Yeah. A good friend of mine, Michael Dichter who who um, we interviewed, you know, who's an artist, he thinks of, he thought of, which reminds me of what you said, it's like you figure it out. He said it's like problem solving. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. Which is an interesting way to think of creativity. Yeah. A lot of people think you're kind of born with this thing, you know, that you're either creative or you're not. But, right. you know. I don't believe that at all. I mean, I mean, some, sure, some people have, you know, um, a magic ability, say, basketball player you know they can we can jump like michael jordan you can jump that high but the reason he can jump that high because he also practiced but at the same time sure you have you know taller and bigger hands you know sure that that helps but then he's not going to be that star if he's not uh lean in into the the creative part like the the talent or what you call it right yeah um you don't water it. If you don't water, they don't grow. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love that. So, but yeah, it's great. Well, that's pretty okay. much all I have. Is okay. there anything else you, you haven't covered that you'd like to cover or want to add? Um, <clears throat> no, I think that's that's good. So your, your um, email, um, not email, your website is yeah. nino, N-I-N-O, dot, dot studio, yeah. dot com. No, dot studio. The dot studio is oh. da, da, da. <laughs> There's no dot com on them. Oh, yeah. okay. Nino dot studio. Yeah. Nino dot studio. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So if anybody is interested in these fabulous paintings, mm-hmm. um, and want to learn more about Nino, sure. Yeah. Go there. Ask questions. I'm happy to answer any tricks, <laughs> uh-huh. or I can, you know, forward you to your website. <laughs> oh. <laughs> for, oh. for, uh, yeah. Well, thank tricks. you so much for coming. <clears throat> yeah. I know it was a trek coming over to Bainbridge mm-hmm. Island. But um, uh, thank you, thank you. I love meeting you. I love seeing you work in person. I really love this, and I hope um, more people will get to know you. Great. Well, thank you for the invitation. This is great. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. (laughs) Yay.